Casey Anthony protests Trump president. Suspected of murdering her own child, but somehow being acquitted, Casey Anthony found time out of her hiding from public shame day to protest Donald J. Trump. That's right, mothers who may have possibly murdered their own children now support the anti-Trump movement. That will tell you all you need to know about that movement. And now we have a brief clip showing Casey Anthony at the protest. From NBC 12, Casey Anthony was seen in a protest against President Donald Trump outside his Mar-a-Lago resort Saturday night. Anthony joined a large group of protesters who gathered outside the club Trump has dubbed the Winter White House in Palm Beach, Florida. He is spending the weekend there with family. Anthony was found not guilty of murdering her two-year-old daughter Kaylee in 2011. She has not been seen much in public since the trial ended. So there they are, the anti-Trumpians. Down there, the never-Trumpers, the anti-Trumpians, the whole progressive cabal set to undermine the Trump presidency, gathered outside the, quote-unquote, uh, the, the winter White House. And amongst their midst is Casey Anthony, who somehow was found guilt, not guilty for what others will argue was a pretty clear cut and dry case of murder. Murdering her own child. She is justifiably socially shunned, but if you saw the video clip, she is she's there's there's nothing wrong with this girl. Nobody is threatening to punch Casey Anthony in the face. Now, if you're a Trump supporter and you happen to be wearing a hat that says Make America Great Again, you may get maced in the face like the young woman did during the Berkeley protest. And you may get a company designing a video game called Punch a Nazi in which they put people like Milo Yiannopoulos, who's a Trump supporter, he's not a Nazi, as as one of the people that you could punch in the video game. See, for the anti-Trumpians, if you are, I'm going to say, most likely a murderer, someone who murdered their own child, you're perfectly acceptable. And this is this is this isn't really a surprise given the fact that the Women's March also featured a murderer as as one of their speakers. And she's actually a convicted murderer. 